guys we are here i am here today with my lovely daughter megan and we are going to um i'm going to interview her about her lps collection because she has a big one okay how many lps do you own <clears throat> like 50 okay what are your top five favorite lps this one cute they're all cuties okay um what is your least favorite lps Ooh. Um, I'm not done. Oh, okay. It says, what's your least favorite? Five. Oh, five of your least favorite? Okay. That's what it said last time, too. Oh, this one. yeah. And then this one. This is a McDonald's, I guess. Mm. This custom. Yeah. That's it. All right. Um, which LPS is your current mascot? Okay. Um, which LPS was your last mascot? Okay. How much, how much, um, which I mean? oh, what's the most money you've spent on LPS. I don't know. Because her mama often <laughs> buys it for her or, um, yeah. So and you have to answer that question. The most money I've ever spent on LPS for Megan is probably, um, probably around $60 what we're doing for <laughs> her, her birthday. On one LPS? No, not on one LPS. Let's see, on one LPS... I don't know, just probably about 12 or $13, I guess. Okay. Um, I forgot which, which one. Which is the best. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what is the best deal you've ever gotten on an LPS? Well, it's not really an LPS, but I've gotten, like, a really good deal on houses. Oh, because yeah. Because I've gotten four houses from Goodwill. And then three of them, I'm pretty sure all of them were only $2. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good deal. <laughs> and they were like really old houses. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Where do you store your LPS? Where do you store your LPS? It's in this like container thing with a bunch of drawers and stuff. Oh, wait. No, it's not that. That's where I store my accessories. Um, it's like in this like hang thing. It's like this uh, thing that has, like, like I can't explain. <laughs> it's in your room, right? Yeah, it's just like a hang thing that hangs from my um, room, and then I can put my office in there. So. Yeah, like a hanging organizer. Also, the, sometimes I put them on my desk. All right, well, <laughs> um... What will you do with your LPS when you stop playing with them? Probably, like, donate them to, like, Goodwill or something. That would be nice. Or maybe you could try to sell some of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, some of them will donate some of them. Will. Yeah. Okay. What, what do you say to people who think you shouldn't be playing with LPS? Well, I don't really say anything. I just ignore them. Like, yeah. so? Like, Why do they care about what you're playing with? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> they need to just get their own toys and quit minding their, quit, minding what is that? Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, where do you get your LPS accessories? Well, I don't really have much LPS accessories, but I usually get, like, Barbie accessories. Yeah. And they're really cheap. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, who... Wait, let's see. Which number am I in? 
How did you discover LPS? Discover LPS. Um, well, I used to get like blind bags with my mom and stuff. We would get those like blind bags of like these type of LPS, like the LPS that they're like these type of LPS. And then, so uh, when I was at the rental house, like the other house, um, I used to play with LPS a lot because there wasn't much stuff to do there and stuff. And then, like, when I got to the house I'm living in now, like a different house, not this house, but um, I had, like, some LPS because I, I bought some LPS from Toys R Us. And I, like, really liked those, LP like, LPS like this. I got this from Toys R Us. Because mm -hmm. um, there's six LPS that they sell at Toys R Us that are old, like this. There's only six. Yeah, so I just bought um, four of those LPS. And then cool. started collecting them. Because I really liked these LPS. And I saw them in videos and stuff. Oh, and then I also found some old LPS at the... Custom living in them. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Who is your favorite LPS tuber? Uh, it's hard. There's lots of choices. Yeah, I just don't know her name. Like, I watch her a lot. Oh, Alice LPS. I forgot about her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is the most recent LPS you received? Uh, um, oh, oh yeah, these crabs. Oh, yeah, forgot I forgot about, about that. those. <laughs> Me I too. got these crabs. Yeah, because I accidentally ordered too many. <laughs> so now she got the extra ones a little bit early. Okay, do you have any LPS coming in the mail? Yeah, for birthday stuff though. Yeah. Yep. Um, where do you get your LPS? Um, eBay or Goodwill, if I find them. Usually I get the houses at like Goodwill. Like, all the LPS houses I have right now, I got at Goodwill. But I've never actually found LPS. I've only found McDonald's LPS and then, like, those giant LPS, which I don't really get. Yeah. I don't collect. So yeah. That's the only LPS I've actually found. But I, I still like the houses. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Those are a good deal. Okay, so what's on your LPS wish list? Uh. Oh. This one. Can't see it. This one. And. Well, there's a lot, but these are my main two. Can't see it, but it's like the same as the other one, just. Yeah, it's kind of like that. There you can see. Yeah, that's a little bit. Yeah, those two. But I have a lot more. I just don't want to show all of them. Yeah. All right, so um, how much money are you willing to spend on LPS? I don't know, like $5. Okay, what is your favorite type of LPS? Cocker Spaniels. They're cute. They are cuties. All right. Well, that concludes our interview. Thank you so much for sitting down with me and telling okay. me all about your collection. We'll see you later. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.